Sam, how, how's the first couple of days in, in Joburg been a, a, as a group? Yeah, it's been good. It's um, you know, a nice small trip for a, for a Sunday compared to, to, to usual. Um, we're able to get a lot of recovery work in that first 24 hours or so. And then uh, yesterday, some you know, a good look at um, sort of opportunities missed and, and areas to get better at. Uh, then we've come out here today and I thought we had a, a pretty sharp training run. We're starting to put a lot of those things in and making improvements, Rudy. So it's been a good few days. Have there had to be a few honest conversations, maybe, uh, particularly among the, the leadership group after the first test? Yep. Um, but I think that, that feels like that's always the case in this team. Um, you know, you can be brutally honest um, with each other and it's never, it's never personal. It's just about trying to get better. Um, and sometimes it takes, you know, we're learning off an individual's error um, so that the team can get better as a whole. How important is, is or extra significance does the captaincy and the, and the leadership as, as a whole, I suppose, take on in a week like this? Oh, look, I think it's, it's always hugely important. Um, the whole role of the leadership group's massively important and um, yeah, I've been really stoked with the way we've been operating off the pitch. Um, yeah, so we can we'll continue and, and keep working hard. I think, although we're obviously not happy and when we're disappointed with results side of things, um, it's not through a lack of trying or effort um, or the work that's going on during the week. Um, so on that side of things, like it's a it's a it's a good camp to be involved in because everyone's you know, like the attitude of like I say couldn't ask for anything more in that regard. Um, the frustrating part is that it's not quite translating to the field yet, but. Um, there's one thing I know a lot, as long as we're putting all the right steps in terms of the preparation, um, we'll get there and it'll come. What are, you, what are your recollections of Alice Park, Sam, in terms of the, the atmosphere and um, I guess the challenge of playing there? I remember the first time there was the All Blacks, um, they flew the plane over nice and low. Uh, it's, a, it's a vivid memory, but just that it's, uh, what's well, got another old 30 odd thousand than last week. Um, we're up slightly higher, so the air's a wee bit thinner. Uh, I remember driving in, and um, you know, the fans are slapping on the bus and making plenty of noise. So it's um, it's a hostile environment, but um, I think we're quite a lot playing in places like this that really really test you. Um, yeah, I think I've said it before. I might have said it in the weekend. It sort of feels like it's yeah you know, the 15 out there versus uh, a 15 spring box plus the the whole crowd. So it's um, they were massive challenges. Sam, how much uh, do you expect the Springboks to, to pretty much stick to, to, to what they did in the split and, and knowing that they're pretty much going to be doing the same stuff, how do you, how do you prepare for that uh, differently or follow another approach? Yeah, look, that, um, I think it's been said a few times, they, they know their game really well and they execute it extremely well. So, um, And I mean, I think there's 15 odd contestable kicks and we only took five of them. So, um, yeah, they had great success in that area. I expect them to to keep going there um, and then again they had good success um, they had the breakdown so we we'll expect them to, to roll out a lot of the same stuff but it would be a little bit naive if they weren't looking for other opportunities and, and would have seen some stuff in the tape to, to exploit us in different areas so um, we've just got to prepare the best we can and um, yeah there's a, certainly always a focus on the opposition but there's um, probably more of a focus often on, on what we can control in, in our part of our game. Sam, you lost the kind of the intensity and the pressure battle against them in Mel Spray. They seem to just have that little bit of extra on you and were able to, to squeeze a bit. I mean, how do you turn, how important is it that you turn that around and maybe maybe flip the flip it there? Yeah, I don't know about the intensity battle. I thought like we had good good intensity, but I agree with the the pressure and like key moments. Um, they were able to sort of flip momentum, or when we were trying to get it, um, that nullify it. Um, some of those were controllable like from our point of view I think we had five penalties in a row in the first half and as a result we hardly had a crack at them um, so trying to eliminate those from our game will, will help um, but absolutely like, that's, the, that's the game of test match rugby creating pressure, intensity and, and momentum so um, yeah, it's all very, all very well having one good moment, it's about following it up with another good moment and another good moment Is it kind of a game where you I don't know. I mean, you know, all the anxiety that's building, all the, all the, you know, all the outside noise and all that. Is it one where you almost kind of not a free swing, but you've got nothing to lose, you know? Um, 
No, nah, I've not seen it that way at all. Um, like there's a trophy on the line. Um, we're playing at Alice Park and we're, we're desperate to want to improve and put out better performances than we are. So there's um, as much on the line as there's ever been. Sam, how difficult is it um, for you personally? Obviously, there's, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot on the line on Saturday and, and not just for you, but for other people as well. How difficult is it not to start thinking too much about the outcome mm -hmm. and, and just stay focused on the process? Yeah, good question. Um, when, we're, when we're in camp like this, the, the weeks are so structured and everything is, is focused around looking at ways to get better and improve. And when you've constantly got that mindset to, to look and, and find areas to get better at, um, you sort of don't allow yourself, or if you do find yourself starting creeping or thinking about things like that, you, just, you, you, know, you check yourself and pull yourself back to focus on what's important and what you can control. Um, just put all the energy and, and focus into that because um, I think we all, we all know within the team and within professional sport, if you start focusing on the outcome, um, it's always the, the process and the little steps um, that go into that that, it, that get the outcome you're after. So no point doing it the other way around. Sam, against the side, that's obviously quite handy at the breakdown. I mean, how exciting is it for you to actually go into that battle again and have another shot at a team that obviously is very good in an area you pride yourself on? Yeah, I said it to um, our, our team in the sheds after the game. It has disappointed as much as it hurt. Um, there's nowhere else what we'd rather be as a team is than to be here and have another crack at them. Um, if we were to be on a, a plane on the way home and have that to dwell about, um, it would have been uh, pretty tough. But to be able to get back on the horse straight away and, and focus on, on having another crack at them, that's hugely exciting. And, and yeah, without a doubt, um, some of the breakdown work is an area of focus. And I mean, last three or four games, you guys have gone down early. Last three games, sorry. Um, given you know you're going to the hostile environment, sort of what works being done, I guess. To is it a mental thing or a strategic thing to sort of avoid that kind of start again? Oh, you mean like starting slow? Um, no, look, it's different. Like, there's no way we want to be starting test matches like that. Um, again, I go back to some of the stuff like we can control. Um, we had the first scrum and we gave away a free kick, um, and they had an, then they took a scrum and gave. And, they won a penalty and you know, things things like that affect the momentum particularly early on in a test match so we've just got to do our best to control those moments um, execute our small roles whether that's at a breakdown um, whether that's a ball carry all the little parts of footy um, all it is is executing under pressure and if we can do that particularly early on then we'll put ourselves in the right part of the field and, and hopefully we can start well Sam, good to have the two Barrett boys out there okay. yeah for sure um, I think I speak on behalf of everyone, it was pretty frightening to, to see. It was nasty, it's almost as, as bad as it gets. And um, I don't know what Bodie's made of, but um, rubber band man. Um, yeah, I know he was, he, he was a bit fright, gave him a bit of a fright as well. But um, and yeah, Geordie um, got in a bit of trouble with the ankle, but um, they're tough boys. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you have any problem with the four weeks dished out? I mean, um, no, not really. Like, I read it. Um, realise he won't be playing this weekend and wasn't too worried about anything else. Sam, when there's, I suppose, as much outside noise as there is around this team at the moment, does your role as captain take on extra significance? Uh, I suppose it's just that it, it's, it's important to remind the boys what's important and where to focus their energy and, and make sure they're not consumed by outside noise and outside opinions. Um, so, a little bit, but at the end of the day, like, my job as captain is to, to lead on the field, on the training park, and make sure we're, we're tight as a group and, and you know, living and training the way we want to be. And um, I can hand on heart say that that's, that's the case at the moment, which is pleasing, and, and hopefully because of that, we'll, we'll start getting what we want on the field. Do you feel the weight of a nation, or do you try not to? No, mate, you certainly feel it. It's a, I think it's impossible not to, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, but... Um, yeah, it's it's always been part of being an All Black, you know, pressure. Um, and it's just, but without a doubt, it's extra pressure. Um, you can sort of look to see it as a burden, or, or just try and embrace it and, and see it as an extra challenge. Um, I think it's the only way you can can view it and try and use it as as a positive. As, as, as funny as that sounds. On the scoreboard, Sam, sixteen point loss, but. Um 
how much do you feel needs to change and how far away do you think you are? It's a pretty funny question because like, trying to, like, I can't put a number on it or yeah. it, it, it's not like a, a measurable scale but um, look, I think if we, if we sort out uh, those contestables um, the breakdown I thought we defended really well considering um, everything and that's why I talked about the intensity earlier I thought our intensity um, defensively was, was right up there so um, look I don't think we're far off I think, um, you know, I think a few people have I suppose um, said that it wasn't an improved performance but in house we looked at a lot of things and there was some definite steps in the right direction and the whole focus is just making sure that we keep taking those steps and um, yeah, we're not far off Last one, last one. Was not able to win today. Is it a setback, or are you confident he'll bounce back? No, I think he. I don't think he's too bad. He's just got a bit of a stomach, you know, a mild stomach issue. He was, he was right. He was at the gym yesterday, Arvo. So it's, mm. oh, it can't be too bad.